I've come here to Oxford to meet a doctor who's pushing at the very boundaries of science. They're actually reversing the menopause. Twenty-five-year-old Adele Stevens is hoping to be the second patient here to have her menopause reversed and fertility returned. Adele, you were diagnosed with cancer mm -hmm. when? I was 22. They wanted to start chemo as soon as possible until my mum said, you do realise you may not be able to have more children. That was when I kind of realised, oh my God, I actually might not. You've had menopausal symptoms yeah. now as a result yeah. of chemotherapy and everything. Tell me what they feel like at 25 years old. Um, I've had a lot of hot flushes, so it is really embarrassing. Emotional mood The mood swings. swings, I'd say, are the worst because you're so up and down. But I found when I tell people I'm going through the menopause, they find it really hard to believe because of my age. You must be quite looking forward to getting rid of those menopausal yeah. symptoms. <laughs> I think that that is one of the main things because I feel I'm going through something I shouldn't have to be going through. But you kind of take it on the chin when you know that it could get better. Before cancer treatment, one of the patient's ovaries is removed, prepared and frozen. If they become menopausal after chemotherapy, they can then have pieces of the healthy ovary tissue re-implanted with remarkable results. It starts to produce eggs again. It behaves as normal ovarian tissue, which gives you back your normal hormone function. So you reverse menopause. The tiny slices of frozen ovary tissue kick back into life after they're re-implanted, lasting up to 10 years. 95% of patients who've had tissue back get their hormone functions back. How what, what uh, over 95% of people who that's have That's incredible. Their I mean, that's revolutionary, yes. isn't it? A scientific breakthrough. Adele's scan shows that her remaining ovary is robust enough to re-implant the frozen tissue onto it in the next couple of months. The work here in Oxford means the future looks bright for young cancer patients like Adele. But I'm also interested in what it could mean for all women. So potentially a woman could have an ovary removed and saved for the future. Yep, absolutely. I've gone through the menopause. Could I reverse that whole process? Had you stored tissue before your ovaries ran out of their eggs, it would be possible for you to have your tissue put back. And I'm sure that in the future, people will be thinking about that for older women as well as for younger women.